one's pretty nice too. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's Dominic, also known as TikTok. Today I want to show you a new update to one of my favorite iOS applications and it's called PureSense Platinum. Now PureSense Platinum has regularly been coming out with new expansions, new sounds for their PureSynth engine in the PureSynth Platinum app. Uh, and just recently they had an update where they added two new expansions. Uh, those are going to be the PureSynth Upright Piano and then also the Suitcase Expansion. Now the Suitcase Expansion is going to be a few of their Neo Soul style roads sounds that they have in their Neo Soul Studio application. It's not the full thing, but it's just a taste of it. So you get it in Pure Synth Platinum. And then the Pure Synth uh, expansion is a, a new, all new samples of an upright piano that they've now included in Pure Synth Platinum. So I'm not gonna get the Rhodes or the Suitcase expansion because I already have Neo Soul Keys Studio 2 as well as version one. But I did purchase the Pure Synth Upright, and it's available for $3.99. The suitcase expansion is available for $4.99. So I purchased the Pure Synth Upright, and we're gonna go through some of those sounds and see what it sounds like. Overall, I'm, I'm pretty impressed with the library. It's only 215 megabytes, uh, but I'm pretty impressed with the sound of it. It's probably one of the best upright piano sounds I've heard so far in a software version. So let's check it out. So when you open it up, you get some factory presets here and we're just gonna start with the first one which is called Default Dry. All right, so it's pretty resonant. I like the way it sounds. Um, it's got a lot of the resonance of an upright piano, which is really what I kind of look for in the sound of an upright piano. Uh, so I'm really impressed by that. Uh, the rest of the presets, they kind of revolve around that, uh, different variations of it, adding some reverb, also adding mechanical noise, so you'll hear pedal sounds, note off sounds, that sort of thing. So really giving you the vibe of a upright piano that kind of vintage kind of piano in the back of the room type of sound and sometimes in my productions I, I look for that type of sound so let's go through more of these presets so here's the perfect upright preset <laughs> nice reverb there You hear those resonances. It's very nice, very nice. Let's go through the next one. Cathedral Recital. So let's see what that sounds like that. All right, so it's kind of a reverberant type of sound there. Uh, we have this dark jazz club. I kind of like this one, actually. It's that kind of dark jazz club type of sound, right? So, smoky jazz club. I like that one. I'll prob probably be using that one a lot. Uh, here's Echo Hall Piano.
one's pretty nice too. Um, probably appreciate this a lot more if I was listening in headphones. Uh, let's go on. Emotional rain. Let's see. resonances are still going on that's that's awesome one thing i did notice about it even though it has the resonances kind of built into the samples uh there's no way and maybe there's a, a way in the future that they can add this to the pure synth engine um but a way for you to get some sympathetic um vibrations from the different keys so for instance if i held down some of the high keys and i hit one of the low keys Really what you're hearing there is, is the reverb. Um, it's not necessarily a sympathetic a vibration. So maybe that's something that they can uh, add in the future that would actually put this over the top in my opinion. So let's keep going. Expressive piano. So let's see what this sounds like. I'm gonna switch keyboards here. Nice. Here's Greek Hall. Uh, let's see. Here's loud mechanics, so I'm assuming this is going to be a bunch of um, the mechanical noises. I just kind of brought out a little more, so let's see. Let's actually look at that one a little bit. Let's see how it's constructed. So on the first layer in Pure Synth, we have an upright piano. So that I, I assume that's the basic upright sound. And then we have uh, this SX6 grand key off. And then we have the mechanics layer there. And then the fourth layer is not on. So let's turn off upright piano, turn off the key off noise, and we'll just listen to the mechanics here. So that's nice that they would add that. It's kind of adds a, a depth to the pianos. And then here's the key off sound. We turn off the mechanics. All right, and that that's affected by the velocity. So the harder that you hit the sound, the louder that key off noise will be. So all of that just kind of makes for a nice. Uh, piano sound with some depth.
Let's keep going on. Here's another medium dark club type of sound. Let's switch the key. Uh, let's go to G. All right, this was called practicing in my basement. Let's see. Uh... There we go. All right, this is called Real Piano. Cool. I like it. So I mean, all of these pianos to me are, are very usable. Um, I would use them in different applications. I would probably tweak them, you know, uh, because they kind of get me in the ballpark of whatever I'm looking for. I, I see a lot of these probably going to be getting used on some R&B tracks. Um, so let's keep going. Here's Rich Studio A. So let's go to St. Luke's Cathedral. Let's see, what can I play for this? Cool. Here's stereo width, so I assume this probably has some type of um, uh, stereo width expansion, you know, just kind of make it a wider sound. So let's see what it sounds like. Here's the last one in the set of factory presets for the prayer synth upright. So it's called Studio Room B. Let's see. All right. So that's pretty much all of the presets. I really like this expansion that Gospel Musicians has provided for the Pure Synth Platinum uh, app on iOS. I assume that it's coming to desktop or is already on a desktop, um, but I can see myself really using this piano a lot in my productions. I'm really glad that they came out with it. Also, the 
suitcase expansion is available as well. I'm not going to purchase it because I already have Neo Soul Key Studios, and it's basically a subset of that from my understanding. Um, so look in your app. You should be able to find the more info button for each of these expansions there, as well as a purchase button for those as well. And then as always, if you like content like this, please consider liking as well as subscribing to the channel and hit those notification so that you know when I upload new videos. And with that note, I'll see you in the next one.